What's going on guys, Controversy here and welcome back to another video. I actually want to talk about the new hero coming up in just about a week. As you know, the new season of Overwatch will be coming out on April 11th and with that is going to be a new hero and that's going to be the support hero. And what they plan on doing is they plan on alternating between new hero, new map, new hero, new map, and so on. I actually think this is a really great idea because it gives them time to focus on one thing or the other. That way, hopefully, each of them will be less bug free. Even though somehow Ramatra still managed to make it through with having an infinite ultimate, that's besides the point. But back to the hero, earlier Overwatch tweeted out this flower right here, and this flower many people believe is actually going to be connected to the new support hero somehow, like either a part of the tire or maybe a part of their kit. Um, and honestly, that makes the most sense because why just tweet this out very vaguely knowing that the new season is right around the corner. But after that tweet went out just about an hour later, we actually have got a lot of leakers saying that they've gotten some information about the new support hero and actually what they look like and their name. All right, so you guys are not going to believe this, but as I was literally editing this video after I did all the voiceovers and everything, Overwatch themselves actually confirmed this is the new hero. Uh, Life Weaver is confirmed going to be the next hero for season four as a support player. This is going to be the new hero. Their name is Life Weaver. Now, a little bit about the hero is apparently he is going to be a main healer. Um, while he stayed right here, while Life Weaver is a main hero at heart. His Thorn Volley serves as his alternative primary fire that can kick out respectable amount of damage to ward off aggressors. Um, he also has an ability where he can protect someone and bring them towards him. So I, the way that I'm understanding it, it seems like if Genji is diving that he can kind of protect him and then from there it would drag him towards the support so Genji can get in and get out easier. This would actually make um, him more aggressive if that's how his ability actually does work. As he stated in the interview, the aim was to create another support hero that didn't rely on aim skill. Life Weaver is designed for players that care a bit more about their, their positioning in their game since those are skills they check on more necessarily than their aim. So it looks like in terms of mechanical skill, it's not going to require a whole lot to play him. He doesn't have any sort of like crazy requirement in order to play him. And I think that's kind of going to be how it is in a, on a lot of characters. He also has another ability that says his pedal platform ability generates a pressure sensitive platform while his life grip ability shields a target and ally and pulls him towards him. And that's kind of the ability that I was referring to earlier. It also looks like he has an ability to help him sustain longer. Uh, it states that his rejuvenating dash also provides a small burst of passive healing to keep you alive while falling back or repositioning. So if you get dove on again by let's use Genji, it looks like he can dash kind of like Hanzo can probably um, and get a little bit out of danger and provide him some healing in the, in the process. Now this last ability is kind of interesting. It's his passive. Uh, it's called Parting Gift that triggers upon death and causes him to drop a healing item that can be picked up by heroes on both teams. So this seems kind of weird because it looks like it's going to make him like a, a target for dive heroes, right? I understand he has the ability to kind of get out of there with his dash and get healed in the process. But if you pick him off after someone's dove him, they can get healed instantly. It just seems kind of interesting. I guess it really just depends on how much it heals them. Um, but my initial thought on it is that it is going to be pretty strong to pick him off early. Um, but then again, since he's supposed to be kind of out of danger, he's supposed to be a positioning style hero, as I stated earlier. Uh, it would actually lead to a benefit some of your allies if he kind of gives you a last second opportunity to get healed before he goes out. So I, I do think it's interesting. The picked up on both sides thing just seemed kind of odd, but yeah, uh, we'll just have to see how it goes when we play. Lastly, I almost forgot about his ultimate, which is called Tree of Life, which heals allies within this perimeter for as long as it remains active. It can be placed anywhere on the map to disrupt sight, li sight lines and block choke points. So it looks like it's actually going to be a physical thing. Um, I'm not sure if maybe it can be destroyed, but it seems kind of like a Zenyatta ultimate. I'm not sure if it's going to heal as much, but it kind of is interesting because it looks like he can place it and he can still kind of go about and do his own thing. Overall, all of this seems really cool. Uh, it seems like he's a hero that can has interactions both with enemies and allies, um, obviously except for his ultimate, but it also seems like he could shake up a lot of things 
with his simple ability by simply being able to protect your teammate and drag them out of danger. It it's going to allow DPS to play very, very aggressive. Uh, and it's actually going to allow for uh, some dive tanks to, to shine more. So much like Doomfist, you know, if he's out of block, you could, you know, drag Doomfist back to your team safely. It all just seems really cool, and I really like what they're doing to the game. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is actually going to be the Mythic skin that is apparently leaked for Season 4, and it looks like Sigma is actually going to get it. I don't know how this could be fake. It looks incredibly real, uh, and it looks like apparently it's already on YouTube in some countries. Actually, it looks like it's scheduled on YouTube in some countries, but I mean, the skin looks legitimate, right? It looks He looks like a, a like kind of like a Black Knight. He actually kind of reminds me a little bit of Omega from Fortnite with his, I guess, final tier skin in the chest area, uh, kind of how it glows. Uh, but it looks like he might even have like a cape on him and he's like a crown. It looks like he's supposed to be like a, a Dark Knight King. It looks really nice, honestly. I really like it. Honestly thought they were going to give Sojourn this mythic skin because they did Junker Queen, then they did Kiriko, and then the next new hero was actually Sojourn. So for me, I really thought they were going to do Sojourn, but it looks like they went ahead and stuck with Sigma, which is also a really good pick, especially considering how good Sigma is right now. But I do wonder what is going to be the theme for this is it going to be something i guess spacey or galactic because it looks like you can see i guess either that uh is a planet in the background it kind of looks like it might be earth um so i'm guessing he's either in space or maybe that's some sort of planet in another universe a part of the cinematic universe for overwatch and it looks like his spheres that he throws looks like they could either be like antimatter or dark matter which would be pretty cool because apparently they were supposed to be giving us a new way to use our competitive points by giving us more skin options outside of just being gold uh, which I think would be nice especially if they added something like dark matter um, but unfortunately I don't know if that's going to be the case though especially since this skin it looks like maybe it, the spheres that he has already are like that regardless I do think it would be nice if they kind of adopted a little bit more of a system kind of like call of duty not exactly call of duty but something like it so where you could earn more skins or use different skins for your weapons outside of gold in competitive because apparently it's supposed to be restructuring it anyway so it won't be as hard to get gold uh it'll actually be harder with your end of season reward so apparently they're going to be boosting the rewards for end of season and kind of decreasing it on the top end because a lot of those guys already have them all and since they're going to be decreasing it on the top end, it seems like they should kind of reward them by giving them another style of skin outside of gold, like diamond or platinum or whatever. But I do think that adding uh, some other skins would be really nice. But again, what do you guys think about all of this information? It's actually kind of crazy that Overwatch confirmed. The Overwatch confirmed the hero literally as I was editing the video. So I'm really glad I caught that before I published this. But if you guys found any of this information helpful and you want to come back and see more, go ahead and leave a like on it and subscribe with post notifications turned on. And I will see you guys in the next video.